Okay, so I'm back. Uh, I'm using Mr. Color number 60. So it's, you know, it's uh, Arlen Gray number 60. So, you know, I'm, I'm reviewing a couple of KH's uh, builds. So, from the looks of it, you know, it doesn't really matter if I have uh, changed my colors, but. You know, looking at this type of green, it's really nice. So, you know, you go uh, on this gray. So, so we create some shadows at the same time we cover much area, and then we have that finish that you know, we look at. You know, that finish that we want from how Sensei Ko would work on his smack. And I'm still I'm still trying to work it out. You know, not everything is perfect, so a lot of practice. I still need practice. Yeah. You know, don't mind the the wires if they get hit. You can work again. You know, uh, it's looking fine. So it's not necessarily you need to cover everything. So you know, if you create shadows on your Mac or there are dark tones, light tones, it's okay. Just that can be reworked or you can add different types of camo on that section. Now I've been I've been looking you know on YouTube on how uh, the Japanese or some of the Mac builders do their camo so you know I try to mimic how they do it, but at the same time, discover something different for me to do. So, you know, uh, especially with the, like, you know, the big names in Mac. So, you know, I, I try to incorporate everything I see and try to, you know, develop my way of doing things so some use airbrush some hand paint mine I mix hand painting and airbrush you know uh, create my own finish on my Mac you know, uh, especially with the, the winter camos you know it's not just since it's all white and everything it's like you say like all white so sometimes you have to mix your tones so it's not just like white you have on what I did on my uh, last last build on the Gruber uh, on the on the altar uh, there were gray sections there were whites you know uh, it's not like all white and everything so, so you have to create your tones with the grays I eventually used about five you know, five types of grays or six and then added some white to finish it up After this, you know, once I've got everything covered, um, you know, uh, I'm gonna find another lighter tone or something different. Something different for the camo to finish. So, you know. sorry about the movie. I'm watching Fury. You know, I've been. You know, uh, one of my favorite movies. So, 
that's my motivation so yeah bear with me uh yeah i've also i've also lost bench time actually um, you know had to place everything together you know family time and everything else so yeah uh you know uh, uh a guy approached me one time tells me one of my works in in an art museum that was featured there changed how he felt about his hobby so he got a board game and started painting it and then one time at an event he saw my name and my work and then we from there you know we just chatted he bought his first Mac which is which was a Falca so the Falca was uh, was extremely a surprise for me because that was my first Mac. Oh, uh, first Mac in 120 scale that I built, and then uh, he built his really super nice. Oh, I like the brown finish he did. So, anyways, yeah, shout out to Fred Lopez. You know, Fred was the guy who approached me and I'm thanking him because uh, you know without him talking to me about you know how I was started with Mac and how I developed my work so you know thanks Fred you know uh, if you if you didn't talk to me about how my art encouraged you I would have been on a loss of bench time so thank you thank you uh, no so I'll stop here grab some uh, coffee because I know this is gonna be an all-nighter so you know uh, the next thing I'll be doing is adding a different tone of gray on this one so you know if you look at this it's starting to look like a war machine or lunar suit since it's starting to get colors and tones so you know the next step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna you know brush a different tone of gray maybe a dark tone or maybe a much lighter tone or maybe some German gray violet for the camo you know I'm still trying to decide on what to paint this so yeah thanks for watching